quick tutorial on how to thicken your font without losing the the like holes in your letters E and uh, the other tiny holes in your letters. Okay, so we are going to start with a type tool. I like, we're just gonna type hello. I like the font Gatkins. It's super thin though, so it's one that you might be nervous to use if you're not comfortable with this technique yet. We're gonna shift, click, and drag to make this bigger while preserving the text proportions. Okay, and then right click, uh-oh, select it, then right click, create outline, and unite your letters. Okay, that you do that in the Pathfinder panel. Mm-hmm. That's my child getting into mischief over there. Uh, and then you want to go ahead and change it from a fill to a stroke. All right. Now we're going to take this direct select tool right here, this white filled in arrow. We're going to zoom in on the E. Pretty close. Okay, we're going to just make sure that we click and drag to select everything in this E hole. Okay and then Command C or uh, Control C if you're on a PC to copy it. All right, and you're gonna zoom back out. Now, if, let's say that you also wanna get this, this little O loop, okay? So then at that point, you would just go ahead and uh, paste this E hole and then do the same thing with the O. But since I'm just showing you how to do it, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna have it copied. Let go. Use your gentle hands. Use your gentle hands. Gentle. Gentle. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, sorry about that. So now what you'll want to do, you can, I always like to work with a fill, but you don't, uh, you don't have to. So object, path, offset path. Uh, we're going to do, let's see how this works. That's not much of an offset, is it? Let's try 0.01. That's closer. Yeah, we can do that. So you still have a tiny bit of an e-hole left, but not one that you would want to necessarily use. So let's just leave it at that, okay? And so now you have this nice, thick, beautiful font, but a tiny, tiny e-hole, and in fact, a tiny o-hole as well. Come on over to your layers, scoot down just here. You're gonna want to come up and just select the inner one. So you can toggle back and forth by cl clicking these blue dots over here. Make sure that you're deleting the skinny inner one. All right. Now you're gonna click this thicker outer one, the one that is remaining, and toggle back over uh, and make sure that you get um, changed to a stroke, okay? Now you're going to come back to your direct select tool, zoom in, get rid of that, okay? Click, drag, delete, and then you can edit, paste, and place, and that e-hole will go back, the one that you uh, copied previously will go right back, okay? Now sometimes, like, you can see that it looks a little strange here because it's a little bigger than it should be. So you can just zoom right back in, making sure that's the only thing that's selected. Shift click to preserve your proportions, make it a little smaller and just move it around until it looks good to you. All right, and so now you have the thicker font with an e-hole that is not super tiny, okay? And if you went ahead and did the, the loop over here as well, you can feel free to do the same thing there. Um, so that's all you have to do. And now you have a thicker font that you can use and you have the tiny, uh, you have actual holes in your letters. So make sure you go up to file, save as, and save as an SVG and you are all good.